Hey, welcome Rangers. Uh, today I'm going to review with you the uh, lesson that we did on population density in Japan, uh, life in a crowded country. So I wanted to review a certain amount of terms with you that we're going to be tested on. And that is the four vocabulary terms that are on the list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over these terms with you and I want you to uh, make sure that you know them for a possible pop quiz and for the future for the AP exam. So here we go. First term would be arable land. Make sure you understand that arable land is the percentage of farmland that, er that there is in a country. Um, and in a country like Japan, there's not a lot of, of farmland or arable land. So make sure you understand that. Uh, you also want to know the term arithmetic population density. And that's a term that simply means the total amount of population divided by the total land area in a country. So a place like, for example, Japan would have a uh, high arithmetic population density. And that is because there is a lot of people crammed into a, a small uh, space. Then you have the term population density. And uh, physiologic population density is the uh, total amount of population in a country divided by the farmland in the country. So that means that uh, Japan has a low physiologic population density because there's not a lot of farmland in Japan. Uh, so know as well the term population distribution because that is a term that will be uh, asked of you. So make sure you understand that population distribution is simply where people are spread out in a country. So in a country like Japan, the biggest factor that has to do with this is the fact that there are mountains. So the physical features of Japan have stopped people from living basically wherever they want. In Japan, most people live uh, near the lowlands, near the coastlines, that's where the most populated cities like Tokyo uh, are. So those are located near areas that are not so mountainous in Japan. So that's what I wanted to cover with you today. Uh, good luck.